Okay, so let's continue playing this game. You know, last time we murdered someone and now we stole their loot and playing it badly. Amazing. <laughs> Good. Great. Uh, but yeah, so let's continue. Um, you know, I, I, I guess, I don't know if I'll say this every single time. I feel like it's a little redundant, but I just want to, you know, mention probably if you're watching this as a video in the future, I guess, when I edit it down. You know, if you want to watch like the whole like uh, footage, then you can watch it uncut as a VOD under the live stream playlist, you know, live stream VOD playlist as well. I just want to mention that as well, because I probably will edit this down. So, you know, this guy, I don't know. I, I just hope that not a lot of context is missing. It's still like enjoyable, but it probably I do have probably have to cut off a lot of dialogue and a lot of extra stuff that are it's not super important, right? But if you want to see everything, then you can watch the VOD. All right. So last time we were here, I think we defeated a few ogres just walking around. Something's happening over here, by the way. So let's find out what's what's going on. Because obviously we need to meddle in their affairs, like any good adventurer. Look what we got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. As my frame rate, you know, like really lagged out there. <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. Okay, fine. Release the gnome. Stop that. You want this little cave lurking? What's it? Find your own. He's ours! Oh yeah, okay. I'll, I'll choose this one. I won't let you harm a defenseless being. Not without a fight. Trying to be a good person to, you know, counteract the fact that we murdered a random musician in our camp. And it looks like it... I don't think it worked out. You can roll inspiration. Ah, uh, let's continue. The runts, us. You should have taken a wide path around us. Killer! All right, we gotta fight in our hands. I guess it's funny. I don't know. Part of me like didn't want to re-roll that because you know I kind of wanted to fight the goblins though. So kind of like the meta reason but like just gives me an excuse to like you know kill them um but i'm again i'm trying to play my character not like not like a psychopath so i'm not gonna like run up to them and start attacking for no reason but if they give us a reason i'm going to stab them in the face let's see what's the goblin boss berserk has a big axe rude frenzy they can make an additional free attack uh, pass uh, disadvantage on his attack roll. Oh, interesting. It's like he has like a second attack, but has disadvantage. You know, you know, having two attacks is actually pretty powerful, actually, in this game. Boom. Okay. And then might as well flurry blows you. Just to get rid of you, you know. Probably not enough damage to get rid of you, so I'm just gonna prioritize getting rid of the weaklings first for now. Ow. And that's all my health. Great. Immediately, that's literally all my health. And he threw a bomb in my face. Cool. Amazing. Oh yeah, and I forgot! I Every time, I always forget. I always forget to do his thing. Well, whatever. See, this is why I hate using the will. Even though, again, I don't have to use the blade of, of the pack, whatever, a pack of the blade. It's just, I always forget. It's like, you know? This is why I don't like high maintenance classes. I always have to get like ready in the morning, taking like two hours. No, um. A little priest, goblin priest. And again. And I killed my little clone thing. That's annoying. Good. He threw grease and then fell on the ground. Amazing. Wow. Screw you. Hellish Rebuke. I don't usually like to use that because it uses up an entire spell slot, but it's worth it. Just get rid of him. Man, they're hitting their sacred flames, which is annoying. Up. 
this thing. I'm trying, bro. How about you help me? You know, can you at least, I don't know, spit on them? Okay, there you go. Good job, Will. Even though your your weapon is not really, like, proficient at the moment. <laughs> like, you're using a sword you can't even really use, actually. Because I didn't use the buying weapon thing. They keep hitting their sacred flame. You know, it's funny when... Uh, Shadowheart uses her sacred flames. She almost always misses. And yet, when we use our sacred flames... Or when they use their sacred flames, you know, they always hit. This is annoying. Stop it. And the 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 priest continues to keep keep hitting their sacred flames forever. Get out of here. Screw you. <laughs> that, that 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 goblin has nine HP. I just used my super powerful skill just to get rid of him. Screw them. It's annoying. Bam. There you go. It still ended up being a, a, a pretty hard fight. Well, let's grab our loot. Very heavy great axe. Is that good for Lisa, actually? She has a great axe, but she doesn't have like a magic great axe, so probably give her that. Not as bad as it could have. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, uh, bind the weapon, Will. Bind it. Uh, I wish it was automatic. Like, what's the point of not binding? You know, uh, it doesn't cost a reason. That that's a thing, right? The whole point of the warlock is that they have special abilities that make it so you don't use up a resource to do certain things. So there's no reason not to, and yet you know the biggest downside is to remember to do it. You <laughs> know, it sucks. I hate it. I can't just you do it. Anyway, here's the brake re lever, and here's the release brake lever. Uh, we probably don't want to release the brakes. We're gonna, we're just gonna stop it. Fifteen XP. Talk to you, Barkus Brute. Cut me loose. Uh, what's in it for me? Free me and find out. Okay, fine. Oh, Maga Kamara, there's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. Oh, yes, I do want a reward, so. As expected, coercion by the book. Take my pack if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Okay. Hmm. I attack, I killed, no, okay, bye. But I want money. I need- I desperately need- I use a lot of HP potions on you, dude. Okay, fine. Let's go in here. Just looking through a bunch of trash. Oh, money? Uh, smoke powder, Sancho. Could be useful. Actually, okay, is, is, in, is this his backpack? So basically, the reward is some apples, bread, and uh, smoke powder. <laughs> I mean... Not the worst reward in the world, I guess. Also boots, uh, speedy life feet. When the wearer dashes, you get lightning charges. So there's like a whole lightning charge mechanic from this sp specific equipment. Uh, anyway, mm, let's see. Well, let's long rest. That's the that's thing, right? I don't want to abuse long rest too much, but like the problem is that uh, we need to, to get the spell slots back for a shadow heart, right? So that's what we're gonna do. Probably just gonna keep the party. Like after one battle, though. Like I, I want to like use her more than just at one battle. Is the thing. 
tonight, you can't chase the thoughts of that poor girl you killed from your head. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming, skewered in abject agony. Your body barely complies. You feel such rushes from your thoughts of the dead woman. Why did she die? The mystery gnaws at your pounding heart. Milady? <gasps> Jubilant day! I have found your vile self at last! Scaleritas fell! Your loyal and ever adoring butler. What the hell do you mean? You're my butler? No, oh, one hell of a butler. The most unprincipled servant you could hope for. I found you following the stench of that bard. <sighs> she reeked across the coast like a piece of dog mark on the road. Anyways, I come once again bearing a part of your dreadful inheritance. You earned this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. Barbarity. <laughs> hmm. So we get rewarded, basically, for, uh... Our dark urges? Well, not likely. Oh, it was wonderfully disgusting, wasn't it? Be true to yourself, my lady. Oh no, we just even though we say no, it's like ah, it was great, you know. The the butler <sighs> says, and then never see him again. I don't know where they came from. This is a figment of our imagination. Anyway, you got this thing. The shadow itself. Once per turn, when you kill an enemy, shroud yourself in primeval darkness to become invisible. You know, that sounds very powerful. Um, I actually don't want it on our main character, though, ironically. The problem is that it kind of breaks dialogue. Now, this doesn't break dialogue, but like it makes it so whenever there's dialogue in combat, uh, because your character is invisible, they can't be talked to, so they talk to your, your other party members, which is annoying. So I actually rather not have that as a... On the main character, same thing. Even when you're like a druid and you have like a wild shape, you know, you turn into like a like a bear or whatever, and then you can't be talked to. So they talk to your other party party members instead, which is annoying. I'm the main character. I want you know everyone to talk to me. Um, so I'd rather have this on like uh actually like a thief character, like a Sterion. Um, I'm just gonna like send the camp for now, I guess. Sterion's not on our party right now. A lot of many, many, many ways to go. Uh, but I feel like we should go here. Right, here's Saza, by the way. She's lightly obscured. <laughs> you know, the random, I don't know. I guess she, technically because she was hiding, right? I, I had her, like, have the hide action. Uh, all good on. So, like, she, that's why it's lightly obscured. Because she's technically hiding. I'll tell the gods what's what. Alright. Finally met up with Saza again. Well, look what the rat dragged in. I know something Ragslin will want to hear. Yeah? What's that? I've been in some druid's grove. This one's spring me. Now move over so I can tell Ragslin myself. Come on. Gotta let the drown know where them looters is. We'll be heroes. Heroes. You know, I feel like I guess hero is subjective. You know, I'm starting to think this might not be a good idea, you know, letting Saza out and everything. She's going to tell where the grove is. They're going to attack the grove. Hmm. Anyway. the overwhelming authority that you've used on others only infinitely stronger your vision clouds leaving you in a dark featureless shadowscape nothingness in every direction then there are three figures before you an armored male elf exuding power and command a handsome younger man with a quick easy smile 
and a pale young woman with even paler eyes. The visions fade and the voice falters as a strange energy swells around you. The many-sided artifact. Somehow you understand it's repelling the presence. I fidget cube. See, it's not really a cube, I don't know what you call it. Yeah, something strange uh, with the artifact, by the way. It, it just happened, you know, when I left you at the camp, it just teleported back into my inventory. I don't know why. I know. I don't understand how exactly, but I felt it go to you. It's important. Keep it close. How'd you get the artifact in the first place? I suppose if we're going to keep helping each other, I might as well tell you. I was part of a group sent to retrieve it. Bring it to Baldur's Gate for our goddess. I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. It's my mission to deliver the artifact to her secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. Okay. Sure. We have bigger problems. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. Let's continue on. Also, what's that? Shielded? Shoot it from the voice of the absolute. Okay, so what happened there? A little cutscene is because normally you get uh, controlled by the absolutes, what everyone else is being controlled by, including the goblins, but uh, not us. We have free will. Amazing. Fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Regslin, short work of the innkeeper made. The uh. inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblin kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you gallant. I will just stare. You move off! Do what she says. Now. Draw rags, Lin. Um, uh, um, uh, I am a draw rags, Lin. Um, um, tumptuous. Uh, uh, draw rags, Lin. Uh, um. You broke him. Come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, oh, look what you've done. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> I was just standing here. Oh, whatever. Of course, man. Idiot! Meat ain't ready yet. Dwarves take an age to roast. <laughs> hmm. It smells delicious. It reminds me of my childhood. Prefer human meat myself. Juicier. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Oh, Albert. Well, now, you look like a toughen. But have you got smarts, skills, guts? Mm, I can handle myself just fine. No doubt, mate. But this ain't dragons or demons or anything else you might have faced. This, this is chicken chasing. Chicken chaser? <laughs> I remember I played like the, I played the first fable. You know, which is very, dis I don't know, maybe I'm just a hater, but I never actually liked the first Fable. I even left the negative review on Steam, <laughs> I don't but the first Fable wasn't very good. I mean, the Fable games in general, I don't know. I never liked them, to be honest. They're just too goofy, I feel like. It's like it's set up to be like an RPG where, you know, there's choice driven dialogue, you know, and you can choose to become the hero or the villain, you know, and then. And then you actually play the game and you run around and people call you a chicken chaser. <laughs> and everyone has like a British accent and you have like a fart emo like emo like emote. You know, your character does a fart. I don't know. It's just like very silly. It's just not the type of game that I thought I would be playing going in. So it felt like false advertising, you know, and people say like it's very good, like, you know, the Fable games and whatnot. But it felt like like a cartoon game, like for kids or something. I don't know. It just felt kind of like 
it doesn't take itself seriously at all. Uh, I mean, I guess it's fine for certain, you know, certain games can do that, but it's just felt there was just so much um, hype behind it, you know, that made it seem like something else. Uh, it made it seem like Baldur's Gate 3, you know, for example, but it was not at all, actually. Anyway, that's my rant for a fable. Um, okay, sure. <sighs> Fancy yourself, do you? Care to pin that claim down with some coin? Why not? Let's just play with some goblins. You know, we're trying to infiltrate the goblin camp. We have to, you know... Uh, we have to... Play along, you know? We got the coin! We got the challenger! Now we just need the crowd, hey? I sure don't know what am I supposed to be doing. That's the game done. Come here. Okay. Did I win or or I maybe supposed to chase it like up there maybe? Oof! Hard luck, mate. Told you it weren't as easy as it looks. The okay, let's try again. I wasn't sure what we're supposed to be doing, to be honest. So, he's supposed to move the owl bear up, maybe I guess. Through the posts. Did I do it? Okay, you're supposed to just chase it up there, okay. Come here. Alright, so I did it right that time. Hopefully make my money back, because 30 go is actually a lot, actually. That's right now. Well, look here! That thing works even better in a chicken! Reckon we won't eat it after all. And over my winnings. Pardon? You're what? Think you misunderstood, mate. Ain't no winnings, cause only a goblin can win chicken chicken. Oh, chicks. come on. Says so in the rules. What are you, a lawyer? I need to move uh, Shadowheart a little bit closer so she can, like, cast guidance real quick. The whole squad comes up. Please give my winnings back, please. Hmm. It's still pretty difficult. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna use inspiration. I think there's a cap. You know, you only get like four inspirations, so I've been kind of wasting inspiration, so I might as well use it. Okay, there you go. Also, they use that scroll charm person, but I think the description, if you use charm person, by the way, I think the enemies get hostile if you use it, I think. It, it, that's what it says in the description, anyway. It says in higher difficulties, you know, people get hostile. <laughs> it were only a joke, mate. Yeah, no quarrel with you. Okay, great. We don't get all the money back, though. I think, yeah. <laughs> well, if it ain't all fledged. Oh, here we go. There's an option here. Got a taste for the game now, do ya? Well, I'm taking the owl bear with me. Is you now? Reckon I feel differently. Reckon the lads will too. You love this game enough to die for it? <laughs> it's good. It's good. Uh, I'm gonna try. That's 10. It's 10 DC. Actually, not that hard. Hell's fine. We'll just take the fat bird if it means that much to you. Zoom in on nothing. Okay. Poor creature. I hope it can follow my scent to count. Oh, there it goes. There we go. We save the little owl bear baby. Great, amazing. Fresh disharmony, bear ends. We could in pixies, humans. Oh, you got him good. And who are you? Another pest? Think you rule the world just because you got a scary face? Ha! You better learn your place. Go on. Kiss more foot. 
or I'll kick your head in, on face. Now, nah, racist. Him or leave him. But don't you dare grovel to this slug. I don't know. I don't know if we want to kiss this disgusting foot. Hmm. Ignore your lust to eat the foot. <laughs> you, you can bite the foot. You can bite the toe. <laughs> Is that like dark urge? It's like uh, probably a dark urge thing. How about you kiss my feet instead? It'll turn into like a weird fetish thing. I feel like. Maybe got, give, give me guidance, Shadowheart. Oh, is that enough? There you go. Everyone approves. Will, even Will approves. He likes this. Mm. You, you better kiss my foot. Now. Do it. The goblin stares, mouth agape. Then he sets his jaw and falls to his knees. Shmooch. There. I've done it. <laughs> Arrogant swine. Right, cool. Amazing. Hey. Hey, uh, I, I think we're good, right? Oh, there's your Saza, by the way. For the drow, I do. My ass. What's a true soul? What with any mate of yours? Private business, that is. Raiding business. But if anyone wants a piss pot guarded, we'll call. Just get your friend branded proper. Right, Sazza? Got better things to do than. No, you don't. Come on, then. Mm. She's gonna walk over there. Uh, before we follow her, though. Here's the the true soul gut. She's the high priestess, it seems like. A priestess. One of the leaders, no doubt about it. Let's make her squeal. What's that? Tell your friend to kill. Yeah, you shouldn't say that, Will. <laughs> in the middle of the goblin camp. Just threatening to kill somewhat right in the middle. I don't know about that. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess. Receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. I feel you in there, digging around. Digging What's around. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. So drink this. It'll purify ya. Ah, uh, what? That's just right behind Will, by, by the way. I'll see your ugly mug on the other side. And then she drags us away while everyone is just wakey, looking on. Wakey. Don't bother struggling. You ain't going nowhere. Oh, turns out we got tricked. The Absolute wants to know all about that critter in your head. So start talking. You know, it seems like no one can help us. You know, first, uh, what's her face? Nettle? Nettie? Now, you know, this goblin priestess, they never actually help us. Hmm. Like you pay for this goblin. You'll pay for talking back. Ow. Let's use our strength instead. I could break these cuffs. Oh, it's a 20. You can't do it, probably. Oh, wait. I was expecting that actually for that to work, actually. The chains snap as you expand your chest. Oh, okay. It worked out. It's strange, though. Yeah, she's, she's gone. She just walks away. She likes over here instead. Yeah, it's very anticlimactic. I, I was hoping to be some kind of dialogue thing. It's like, and then you attack. And she's like, whoa, you know? Guess not. Anyway, I guess we're in prison. Uh, we're gonna have our friends break us out, I guess. Though I guess the door isn't locked. We can just walk out, but probably they'll start attacking. So obviously we don't want to do that right away. We gotta get ready. 
<laughs> Seems this individual doesn't think very highly of you, but few can resist a well-timed gift. Okay, that's just... I don't know what that would happen. Again, that was like the whole law system. They accidentally like turned hostile for no reason. Or they did turn... It's supposed to turn hostile, but like they did a whole like conversation where like, by the way, they don't like you or whatever because of minus five attitude. That was weird. Anyway, let's do this proper. All right, so there's Palma and there's obviously Gut. Um, so we broke free and now we must kill them. Amazing. Think you can take me on? I guess we'll fight Palma first. Uh, why is there no one here? I mean, that's just the nature of streaming, I guess. I mean, look at like, I mean, this is YouTube, but like go on Twitch and like um, sort by lowest views. Like the ratio of people who have like very low viewers on their stream is very high. So like, you know, that's just how it works. It's only like if you have like a, a big viewer base do you have like a lot of people on your streams and everything. But uh, I stream anyway. In fact, I feel like streaming on YouTube, again, it's like better because marginally speaking, if I was streaming this on Twitch, it would be zero viewers for like a long time. So. I don't know. More likely to have zero viewers rather than like any viewer at all, in my opinion. Um, and also, at least obviously, I also put videos on the main channel as well. So there's at least a little bit of visibility there. We're like level four. Again, the level gap between level three and level four is still pretty big, I feel like. I don't know. Um, this is annoying. Hmm, I'm gonna do that. And they both saved. You know, this is why I don't like casters. You know, they have very useful abilities. So that that what I was trying to do is make them drop their weapons. But like, if you fail, nothing happens. So like, it's just annoying. It just feels like it's wasted, you know? I don't know, whatever. You're useless, Will. I hate you, Will. <laughs> I really hate Will. Again, even though it's my own choices, really. But I just don't like the fact that... He, uh, is that like a pack of Blade Warlock? I always forget to do his thing, right? I always forget to, uh, bind his weapon and also use the armor of shadows or whatever. I always forget to do it. Every time. That's why I don't like using him. I don't like high maintenance people, <laughs> you know, basically. Or, you know, high maintenance party members, really. All right. I'm surprised she, she didn't murder, uh... Shield! That's a spell, actually. I'm surprised she didn't murder Floros, the main character. All right, there you go. There you go. Let's go over here. Let's, uh... Because, uh, what, what's the quest marker? The quest marker is, like, you know... Here is Goblin Saza. She's gonna talk to the drow. We also can potentially kill all three leaders. As one of the leaders was the priestess. I don't know. I mean, let's see. I don't see what happens. I kind of want to do something different. Because obviously you can just go in and just start blasting. Let's not do anything suspicious while it's watching. Hmm. But, uh... I want to try not doing that and I guess see what happens. Mistress! It's me, your loyal servant, Cesar. I'm back, and I brought a friend. How thoughtful. And where did you find this friend? They was in some rickety druid grove, mostly full of tieflings, but them intruders you're after were hiding out there. I presume you dealt with my prey and massacred the rest. Ah, uh, well, the thing about that is, they sort of massacred us. This mug helped me escape, though. I say we stick a few holes in her. Show how grateful we are. You feel a cold hand caress your mind as the dragon praises you. Oh, dear. Your prisoner is one of the Absolute's favorites, Saza. A true soul. Tell me where that grove is. And I may yet spare your life. It's past the bridge, to the east! Big old gate covered in ivy! Don't hurt me, mistress, please! I will not hurt you. My spiders will have that pleasure. 
No, I mucked up. I'm sorry. But I didn't know who they was. They didn't tell me nothing. Okay. I think, well, a lot of things have happened. Uh, I, I didn't really pick that up, but I guess Salsa was trying to betray us. It's like, uh, they were in the, they were in the grove, and then, yo, you presume you killed them, right? Well, no, really. I say we stick a few hoes in her, you know? It's like, it was just a small line, but, like, I, I guess Salsa was about to betray us. Which is kind of a, you know, kind of like a asshole move. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of see what happened. So, she's telling the truth. She didn't know. I told you. I was trying to follow orders best I could. Everyone disapproves. Stretch. And remember, you owe your miserable life to this one. I won't cause any more trouble. I swear it. Through sheer luck, that pathetic worm has brought me the information I need. Return to the grove. When my raiding party approaches, throw open the gate and signal me. The fate of the grove's inhabitants hangs in the balance. Killing the drow here would spare them, but it might be better to face her warband at the grove itself on familiar ground. That is true. And participating in the slaughter as she asks may be the perfect way to earn her trust and access to the cult's inner circle. I'll get it done. Good. Marshalling the goblins is no simple matter, but my warband will be ready to attack by next light. Once we are in position, we will wait for your signal, and then we will break them all. Okay. Okay, evil drow. It is yes, your ladyship. Sansa betrayed us, but we convinced Methana to spare her life. Now we get, we get a little knife, I guess? Deals uh, extra damage. The creatures are knocked out or sleeping. Um, but yeah, there's there's a choice here. We're like, yeah, you can send uh, Minthara to the Grove, which sounds pretty bad. But again, I, uh, the way I justify it is like sending her there is actually a good thing because we're splitting up the camp. So we have less people to worry about in the camp itself. So when we go there, we can maybe attack her later over there. Um, and I guess, you know, we'll talk more about it once we get there. Uh, for now, I want to level up. Level up. We need that level up. Only level 4 though. Level 5 is when there's a big power spike. So we're not there yet, but uh, hopefully soon. Oh yeah, I was gonna mention as well, Tavern Brawler. So I don't know if I talked about it yet, but... Almost... Anyone who plays Monk... The, you know, and anytime you ask for advice... People always say, oh, just do Tavern Brawler. You know why? Because Tavern Brawler basically... Uh, you know, it's very powerful for monks. It makes uh, so it makes it so that your strength modifier is basically doubled uh, on your damage and your attack rolls, which you know basically means you hit harder and you hit better, you hit more often. And basically, the idea is that instead of going through dexterity, you you like you know you dump uh, you dump dexterity. Or you don't have to dump it, but you know you maximize strength instead. And if you do, you know instead of using dexterity to like do your unarmor attacks, you do strength instead, right? That's the whole idea. Um, but often I always see when you do that, you know, I mean, for one, it's kind of broken, and another thing is that uh, when you do like a full strength build, um, not that you don't need to. There's also elixirs they can use. You know, there's one elixir in particular they can also use. But anyway, um, what often happens is that people use like heavy armor as well. And the shield, because technically you can use a shield as well, you know, and you just become Captain America, you know, and I don't like that because you end up being an archetype where you're literally just Captain America. You know, any any character in any video game or any type of media where it's just a guy in like full armor and having like one shield, you're just Captain America, right? I can't, you can't get, you can't get away from that. And I don't want to be Captain America, okay? I don't want to just become Captain America. So that's why, that's the main reason I'm not getting Tavern Brawler, even though everyone, almost everyone recommends you to always use Tavern Brawler when you're a monk. I want to do something different. Anyway, that's, that's all just to say that I'm not getting that feat. Um, yeah. All right, look around. There's some wargs there, by the way. Dangerous area, but it's an isolated area. Like the way it works is like uh, this is like its own area then the other goblins won't be alerted if we kill everyone here so you know to consider see it squealed <laughs> it's it again it's it again steady three <laughs> how about a taste of your own medicine uh, all right Oh. 
Yes, we're gonna help a bear break out of his prison. Great. Also, there's kids, by the way. You know, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to kill these kids. Otherwise, they're going to alert the guards. So this is important. We must destroy them. This is this is very important. Try me. Oop. You know what they say about goblins? The only good goblin is a dead goblin. Again, funny how you can just murder goblin children. <laughs> what, what what is Larian's what does what did Larian Studios mean by this? What do they mean that we can kill goblin kids and yet we can't kill all the other kids? No. Oop. Haha. <laughs> did a little bit of damage. Not that much though. So you can use the environment to your advantage, you know. It's a cool thing you can do in this game. But yeah, I was gonna. Oh yeah, I, I, I mentioned a while back, but uh, I was gonna say something about like CRPGs, you know. So you know, I mentioned a while back how like uh, this game is like turn-based combat and everything, which I which I like, uh, obviously. And this is technically, I mean, as far as I know, this is technically in the CRPG genre, right? The computer role-playing game genre and everything. Again, confusing terminology because obviously RPG means more than just the role-playing game. But you know, that's what CRPG means. It's like the like a video game of the role of the tabletop role-playing game. But you know, in this in a lot of CRPGs, and I, I might be playing the wrong CRPGs, <laughs> but you know, at least in the past. Um, but a lot of the CRPGs I did play in the past, you know, like the original Baldur's Gate. Uh, I played, uh, again, off screen though, because again, these are long games, so I don't often record all of them. Uh, but I played like, um, what is it? I played uh, Pillows of Eternity. I played uh, Tyranny as well. I've actually did play a lot of CRPGs. I tend not to finish them though, because they tend to be very long. Um, and when you make your own character and everything, I tend to always restart <laughs> because I like to pick characters. I don't know. I always like the beginning of a CRPG, mostly, rather than like playing it through the end. I don't know. You know, it's just different types of characters you can make, and I always find it fun to do that. And um, the thing that I find about CRPGs, most often the case, is that they tend to be uh, be not turn-based, actually. They, they tend to be like real-time combat, you know, which is interesting. A lot of CRPGs I've played tend to be uh, real time. You know, real time as in you imagine like an RTS, like a real time strategy game where you have a bunch of units, you know, and then you just kind of swarm the enemy, right? So that's I, that's often the case, right? So I feel like a lot of CRPGs are in that style. Um, I know in Baldur's Gate 1 at least, uh, I think it was Baldur's Gate 1, where there's an option to make it turn based, but it's like very janky, so it's kind of not really the same, you know? It's not the same as like this. That's how I feel it anyway. But yeah, a lot of the games like real-time CRPGs, which, I don't know, doesn't really fit the whole D&D aspect, right? Because in D&D, as far as I know anyway, uh, it is kind of like this. It's like tactical turn-based, right? You take turns one by one, and then you have, you know, abilities, and then you attack, and then you end your turn, right? It's like, it's always the case. It's, it's very similar to this. So this is strange, you know? This is, maybe not strange, but it's like, it's just something I've noticed is that... Uh, a lot of the time, a lot of CRPGs, even though they're the more the more classic ones, you know, compared to something like this, which is actually more modern, um, tend to be not actually turn-based. You know, they tend to be just like, at least the way I play them, anyway. It might be the wrong way to play, but like I just kind of swarm the enemy, and then I just watch, you know, as they like do like you know, swiping animations. It's very goofy. Like old games are very goofy in terms of animations. I don't know. It's kind of like Morrowind, you know, you're just kind of like doing a, a like a slashing animation and everyone's just slapping each other, you know, it's just it's kind of silly looking. But yeah, that's how I feel about like, you know, older CRPGs. It's just a, again, maybe I've played all the wrong CRPGs, but like a lot of CRPGs I've played that kind of like harping on the old style, you know, tend to be like real time, you know, they don't, they don't tend to be like like this. So that's why I appreciate this style, you know. I like this style, actually. I like tactical turn base. Maybe people find it kind of boring, but I don't know. And again, it might be kind of a little, a little bit boring to watch as well. Because, you know, it takes a while, right? It's like, this person does their turn, and their person does that turn, you know. should cherish all of nature's bounty, but... Anyway. Goblin guts are quite far down the list. I owe thanks. I am the Druid Halsin. I am the Druid Halsin. 
Oh, by the way, some comments. Uh, you like to play good or evil side of games? You know, that's interesting. I, I have... Well, maybe I'm not going to... Maybe I'll talk about this later in more detail. But, you know, it is an interesting idea, like, having good and evil, like, morality choices in video games. I actually kind of find it, like, disappointing, actually, in a lot of games, you know? When you ever do, like, an evil playthrough in a video game, assuming that you even have the choice, they tend to be not very interesting. They tend to be just, like, um, either, like, not really consequential. Like, uh, for example, in, like, Bioware games where we choose like supposedly evil choices it's really the same game it's just like you're just a bit of an asshole you know basically it's like choosing uh renegade options it's like shepherd and mass effect i find it kind of boring because like it doesn't really matter you know it's just the character the way your character acts you don't really do you're not really the villain right um, that's why I really like uh, Soul Nomad. You know, Soul Nomad has like a, its own like evil route, which really puts you as like the actual antagonist, which is not something that a lot of games do. I feel like it's like a whole re lot, tons of reason for it. But anyway, um, but yeah, here's House, and he was a bear, by the way. He likes being a bear. In fact, he's actually uh, famous in like marketing material. I think we're like basically you can romance him, and then you have a scene with him. That's all I gotta say about that. Anyway, uh, you're Halsen. Yes, but just Halsen will suffice. I'm becoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. <laughs> you're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the absolute like the true souls do. Someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for a way to remove the tadpoles but i found the next best thing i found out where they come from all right well we have a direction um but was it didn't netty or whatever say like Halsin was like a master healer that he'll just like you know what would she do she snapped her fingers you know like he would help you just like that and then you know she just does that but no he doesn't actually oh isn't able to do that well tell me what you learned I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. Well, at least I know what to do now. Uh, wait, I could help you find a cure. But I need to settle matters here first. I've no right to ask more of you. But if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. It's too late to stop things from here. The goblins are already marching on the grove in force. Hmm, I wonder whose follows that is. Muster the defenses. Uh, okay, fine. I'll go rescue the grove. Thank you. I know it's a great deal to ask, but the grove is everything to me. Hurry then. I will meet you there. May Sylvanus guide us. Okay. Well, oh, he runs away as a little rat. Ah! Okay. Well, we kind of need to heal up. Um, we already used our short rest. You know, I kind of don't want a long rest. What happens if we long rest? Does that mean, like, it'd be funny if, like, and thus we must hurry to the grove now? And then everyone just takes a nap, and then we come back the next day, and then it's already over. <laughs> you know, like, that'd be funny. I don't know. Come on. Scream. Scream up. to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. Okay, fine. I, I didn't want to do this right now, but there's no other option, really. I mean, you can use deception, but I don't like lying. You know, lying is, like, bad. So I'm going to kill him instead. It's much better. Now, I just hope nobody gets, nobody else gets alerted. Hurry up. Go, 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 go. Kill him, kill him. Quick, 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 kill him. Before anyone else gets alerted. Eldritch Blast. 
Uh, no wait. <laughs> no, he's got he, this, this random guy got alerted. Screw you. Die. All right. Please, please, let me out. There's no reason for this. I'll just use the key. The lock clicks. It's funny that even if you have the key, you can also just lockpick it anyway. <laughs> just for style points, just for fun. In a lot of situations, you know, you can just choose to lockpick it anyway. Like in anything, you know, like in, like a door or a chest. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. Oh, what the goblins want with you? The grove. To the east. They wanted to know where we came from. No. They'll, they'll kill everyone. Please. I need to warn them. No, you will die. No, again. <laughs> it's funny, just kill him right now. Okay, goodbye. Just like. Just over there. Which he just disappears. I don't think this leads anywhere, by the way. There's no like exit. I don't know how he gets out from that from that direction. Some secret exit. I don't know. Also, behind this is a bunch of explosive barrels, by the way. Hmm. Wee. All right. Time to steal all of these explosive barrels. They're not gonna need it, right? Don't worry about it. I'm going I'm gonna need it to save the world, okay? Actually, well, I don't know if we're gonna save the world necessarily, but I just need it. Alright. Looks like there's something going on over here. Let's check it out. Oh, well, no, I didn't mean to do that. Let's check it out. I want to have a word. Uh okay, good camera angle. By Vlakith's blade, a geich. This is the big boss. Strike him big down. Big boss. The <laughs> goblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue, and the bile in his soul. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Mm. I don't see the squid, though. Like, it's like I don't know why it's not there. It's, like, glitched. <laughs> I don't know what. Why is it not there? How strange. How, 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 how strange. Um, because it is there. It's like right here, but. Anyway, you know, as this conversation is happening, Will goes back to the camp, sneaks away back to camp, uh, for no reason in particular, puts a, puts a barrel over here. Don't worry about it. You know, it's fine. Do, 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 do. Let's see, what level are you? Level two, level two. Well, you're all kind of weaklings, really. All right, back to the thing. All right, <laughs> anyway. Hmm. What kind of ceremony is this? Yes, you're a thick one. So I'll tell it straight. We're gonna make the carcass talk. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. Oh. Forgetting what this weapon thereafter really is. The artifact. Kind of like anticlimactic, to be honest. I want, I wanted, I wanted to like in the dialogue to attack, but like now we just have to attack like this. I don't know. I'm, su I'm surprised that nothing happened. Actually, it's like, hey, what's going on? It's like you're an idiot. All right, bye bye. <laughs> How strange. Anyway, all right. Let's see here. Let's start off this battle with a bang. Didn't do that much damage to be honest. Sure, I can also use a scroll instead. Might as well. Ignis! There you go. Some extra damage over there. And uh, she can also just use Ignis normally, so. 
Make noose! There you go. You know, it's thin out the horde, I mean, that's fine. I'm just using the resources that have been given me in, in the game. Totally not cheesy at all. Totally not because I'm afraid of him and his level 5 status. And then him just like one-shotting me, you know, it's fine. I'm just balancing the odds, that's all. Gonna cancel her enter so she move this way. So Lazel can go over here. It, it is, uh, the game is, is a little forgiving in terms of like moving your characters around because you can like cancel your enter. Oh no, he's raging though. Oh no. Ah! Oh my god, whole person, really? Alright, you done? You done yet? <laughs> you just standing there? Sometimes the AI just kind of stands there doing nothing. They're just processing and then they're like... And eventually... They, they're just like, okay. <laughs> you know, they're like, okay. Uh, your turn you know it's, it's like when you're playing like a card game or, or like any kind of game i guess so like some kind of turn-based thing with like another person they're like hmm is there anything else i could do and they're like and finally they end their turn uh it's just silly oh my god hopefully he doesn't do that towards the spiders you know that'll be bad Ah, oh, of course he does. God damn it. Oh my god. No! Don't eat her. What I could do, if it works, is make you drop your weapon. Let's make you drop your weapon. Might as well. There you go. Aha! Your weapon is mine! When it works, it's pretty powerful. So he's just throwing stuff? Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Alrighty. Now it's just you. And you don't even have your weapon. And you're not a monk. So get wrecked, idiot. Get wrecked. Alright. We did it! Lysel's dead though. <laughs> so I got a reviver. Do I have a key? I do. Hey! Loot! Okay, grab this, grab some money! Also, Inferno Iron. Um, I guess I'll grab that. Don't know what it does. Uh, Amulet of Saloon's Chosen. Gives you Saloon's Dream. Gives you healing, but they might fall asleep. Sounds not that good to be honest. Loves a Growling Underdog. Now, this is very good. Basically gain advantage when they're surrounded by two or more foes, which is like a lot of the time, actually. It's very often, so I'm going to grab that. And when you dash, you get uh, momentum. That's, it's very similar to the Sparks uh, boots or whatever. There you go. And all the money goes away. You know, it reminds me, was it Divinity Original Sin 2? Uh, I forget it was that game or not. Uh, but I remember, you know, there, there was like a pile of like gold. And then when you loot the gold, it goes like, like it's empty, but that you, there's still a pile of gold. You know, I don't remember it was Divinity Original Sin 2 that was the case or some other game. But I remember that was like a sticking point. You know, people always like made fun of that. How like you, you loot like a bunch of gold, you know, from like a pile of like a, a gold, which is like a container like this. But then after you do so, after it's empty, it's still, you still see a bunch of gold. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's as if there's still more to grab, but you can't get it. We are a shadow monk. So we might as well do a little sneak attack. So, you know, surprise actually does work if it's like like this, you know, where it's like... They're already hostile. It's just when they're neutral. If you try to attack uh, enemies or they're neutral, it always glitches out. Not really a glitch, but like they just turn towards you and say, Stop, you violate the law. Which is always annoying. Yeah! Surprise! See? So they get the surprise uh, debuff, which means they lose a turn, you know, basically. And it's very important if you play like an assassin class or whatever. So I do wonder. Let's see what happens if I break the statue. Huh? Bam! Kind of missed it a little bit there, but there it does hit them. Uh, it does... Oh, it does like 4 damage. That was not worth it. 
Oh, but did it kill this guy? Oh, wait, wait a minute. No, no, no. It, it, it did kill someone. It killed this guy. It just didn't kill this guy. I guess this guy wasn't directly on top of it. This guy took most of the brunt of the damage. All right. So that guy worked out. No, they worked out. And... Boo! Oh, yeah? Time to use the power of Sacred Flame. If it hits. You know, it's weird. You know, in this playthrough, Sacred Flame hits all the time. You know, maybe not actually, but like, in my mind, for some reason, it's a confirmation bias where like, I always see like, uh, Sacred Flame like literally hit all the time somehow. So that guy's walking out. Okay, bye. See ya. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk to him. Oh well. You know, the moment we, we uh, walk out, by the way, it's gonna be a whole thing. <laughs> you know, there's gonna be a whole scene. Also, only torches in that chest. Oh, come on. That's not much of a reward at all. Alright. Man, we really do need to heal up and everything. I just don't know if this will mess up the quest. I just want to make sure. Because, um... I mean, I need the long rest, is the thing. But I also don't want to mess up the quest, you know? It's like, the whole, there's a whole thing of the Grove, and it's like, by the way, you should come in here. And it's like, we just ignore them. <laughs> and then the whole, like, big yeah, battle is just... Heavy. Doesn't happen. It just happens off screen. Your forehead, pain shoots through your fingers. Anyway, here's here's this scene that's happening. Uh, I, I wipe the sweat. Your also, the blood. As they reach upward, your forehead remains drenched, no matter how much you wipe. Uh oh. Chuckle gate blacketh Mazathok. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. You know, we do have proficiency in medicine, actually, according to our origin. So we'll just say, it's just a fever. Rest will break it. I cannot trust my own mind, so it seems I must trust yours. I will wait, but know this, I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. Okay, whatever you say, Lazel. Oh, another scene? And now we're over here. Just in time, you are transforming. Smug for some reason, so smug. Are you the evil inside my brain? Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. Imagine hacking the grubby paw off. Though the thought crosses your mind, it doesn't hold you. Doesn't devour you, as your thoughts too often can. Your compulsions will doom us all, if you do not work to stop them. I can help. Apparently he knows about that. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you. But for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. your potential. I have to go. 
The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Okay. I did the movie thing, by the way, where they, you know, did the violin or strings thing. Very epic. They're fighting in like a weird RGB gamer skull. Anyway, um. All right. Uh, let's see. I, I kind of want to try uh, Gale. Uh, yeah, that's his name. Right? His name is Gale, right? I already forgot what his name is. Uh, he's probably hungry for like an item because he mentioned it before. So, do I have an item ready to give it to him? Uh, here, I have a magical artifact. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Give Gale artifact. Give Gale uh, useless artifacts. Uh, in fact, mm, yeah, this one. I could also give him this one, I guess. Anything that you just don't want to use. Oh, it can also shows the, it shows all the inventories. Anyway, uh, yeah, just take that. Thank you. Gale approves of no portrait. the spot i can feel it work the magic it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside the your condition of yours is very expensive it in water deep nothing there comes cheap at least things okay. are interesting if i go out we are the, uh, a bunch of goblins gonna murder me yep in fact there's a big ogre i think oh my god uh oh uh let's see here <laughs> How am I going to do this? Well, I kind of want... I, I should have grabbed the barrel. I accidentally... I didn't bring the barrel. There's way too many goblins. Wow. That's just too many. There's too, there's too much. Alright. I mean, I guess we'll just do the, the thing. What we need to do. Just kill this guy first. Again. Who's talking to me? <laughs> the, the, the visitor guy? The dream visitor? Well, it's work. Oh, no animation, by the way. Hold on. Let me just, like, over here real quick. <laughs> you know, everyone retreat. Everyone retreat. Oh. Oh, okay. What's going on now? Excuse me? It's the whole thing I need to do. My, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation. Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. It's not every day one meets such a cavalier sinner as yourself. A true bloody pleasure. Don't tell me you're from my old staff. One evil butler's enough. You wound my honor. Consider me a peer for your vice. Shall we withdraw? We have much to discuss to our mutual satisfaction. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. I really should be getting back. Like again, I'm I'm late to the whole grove party. There, middle of somewhere. Can you be more specific than somewhere? The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go I do on, need camp supplies. Take, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. There you go, he's literally the devil. Literally Satan. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. One skull, two tenants, 
and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Uh, you're mad if you think I'll make a deal with the devil. And what is madness but a denial of reality? By the way, I'm staring at Lazale Proust, even though not, they're not even here. You change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. If I, if I do want to take this deal, well, how would I find you? I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Okay, whatever you say. So many distractions. Maybe we'll like sneak in. We'll like go sneak mode and hope for the best. Nope. <laughs> they all just roll dice. Ah! Get in and out. Alright, well. Actually, this area and the starting move there. Aha! Okay. I mean, they're all staring at us, which is not great. Yuri, I am okay, fine. Let's try this again. Take two. Bleh. On the move. Uh, Gale, I totally forgot to freaking get... Uh, forgot to do his mage armor. Every time. Just like Will. That's why I don't like mages. Well, all right, let's see here. You Death won't take me hopefully yet. will die. Again. Nope. Okay, you're dead. Alright, who's next? We get, we really gotta be fast about this. I think it's best to kill all the ads first. I can't do that. You gotta just summon another warg. What the heck? I guess it replaced the other one, but it basically healed it to full HP. That's annoying. Alright. Hmm. Who's the Beastmaster? Who did that? In fact, who, who did that? Who, fr who freaking did that? Uh, Sharp-Eyed Bragg. Bragg? Where are you, Bragg? You need to die. I'm gonna use everything to kill you. Everything! Die! Try okay, good. Else. Try something else. Why is, why is the voice telling me to try something else? It worked out, didn't it? I guess we'll brute force this. I was gonna use the barrel somehow, but every, all the goblins kind of like separated. <laughs> so like the there's not really a good spot anymore. These barrels. Oh well. Stop it! What the heck? I could do a bonus attack just for fun. Like a little bit of damage. Can't even catch my breath. Actually, I could have done it again. Actually, I always forget because uh, thieves have two bonus actions. I'm not used to that. There you go. Actually, worked out very well. Actually, it's very good. Uh, oh, I can kill these wooden supports. I didn't even know that. Well, hmm. these guys have no wooden supports though. Ooh, wow, that's that's a strong hit. Uh, let's see. Here. Haha. <laughs> well, that wasn't really worth it to be honest. It's like it does like one damage. So not that great. Smack you! Alright. Everyone's freaking dead. I killed everyone in the freaking goblin camp. I didn't even need to actually. The, the the quest marker said like because Minthara already went ahead, 
and uh, went to the grove. You actually don't you don't kill everybody, but oh well. Oh, well, who's that guy? It's uh, Crusher. You know, he's the guy that kissed our foot. He's just over there. He missed all the fun. Grab all this meat. It's free food. Also, roasted dwarf ribs. They don't actually count as like food, though. Yeah. Oh no, you, actually, you can. You can eat this. Huh. That's interesting. Now, Gale, do you want some? No. Yeah. See, he can't eat it. You know, because he's normal, but we can. It's funny because I think we because we poke, I don't know it was, uh, uh, innately, but like uh, there was those choices, right? Where it mentioned like, oh, we can eat. We love dwarf, roasted dwarf. It's delicious, so we can just eat it. Hmm. Do -do -do -do. What's this guy doing? Hmm. This just taking a piss. Reminds me of Metal Gear Solid Two. That's what this reminds me of. All right. Time to do a classic Agent Forty Seven move. Bye! Good work, 47. Alright. We took care of the goblin camp, for the most part. But there's still some stragglers we need to... You know, take care of. So, let's see here. I mean, at this point, we might as well fast travel. Uh, let me save. Let me just confirm that... Um, you know, Minthara and crew aren't already, like... You know, on top of things here. Let me just double check. If I if I if I fast travel here, will it be fine? Are they just waiting there, or has anything happened yet? Double check. I see like a line of sight thing here. I don't know what that means. Where are they? I mean, I'm assuming we can you know get into dialogue. I'm assuming they're not gonna attack immediately. I mean, they seem do they do seem to be neutral. They're not like. Yeah, they're not gonna like attack immediately. In fact, they were warned, right? Because we sent that one guy who was being tortured. We sent him ahead, and th that's why they're ready to fight. So that's probably the reason. I just wonder where Manthara is. So the Tieflings are ready. But where's Manthara? Protect the Emerald Grove. Okay, I I I'm assuming there's gonna be like a big showdown, if I had to guess. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Unless Mathara is just missing, and like, she's glitched, and she's bugged out, and she's just not here. I don't know. I'm assuming there's going to be a big battle. But uh, we're going to save that for next time. Assuming it's going to happen. It could be like I run up and it's like, hey, you're an idiot. You sent Mathara here. We killed, them her we killed her already. What are you doing? You're late. <laughs> you know, or something. Also, we're going to kill you too, because we hate you or something. I don't know. And I guess I'll mention as well. You know, again, probably this will be cut into its own video, so it's gonna be much shorter. But if you want to see like the full VOD, then you can always check it out on the uh, playlist for live stream VODs. You can also, uh, I guess, you know, uh, if you want to watch the actual live streams, you can always subscribe and change your notification bell from personalized to all. There you go. Uh, I guess you know. We'll see what happens next.